unbalanced, unstable, and above all, unhinged. Welcome to Unmelee. While playing this revolutionary new mod of Melee, the game starts with a dice rolled. How will it spin in your favor? Will you obtain access to a tension gauge and roaming cancels? Will you be able to spontaneously teleport behind your opponent? Will you be able to use the unholy powers of the world as we know it to stop time once in a while? Only one way to find out. Eight different insane and unbalanced abilities your characters can get once the game starts. Each one is crazier than the last, and you know it's fucking wild when stopping time's on the lower end of how wacky this gets. Anyways, let's get into it. Remember when I said the dice was rolled? I lied. It was the original plan, but due to demand, you can now choose what ability you get to play with. But when having to start with fun with friends, I recommend letting RNG take the wheel, though. All these abilities offer their own type of fun, and I think that trying all of them to find the one for you is the way to go. In addition, when left to chance, Unmelee becomes the best drinking game in Melee history, just saying. On screen right now is the list of abilities and how you can input them. This can also be found in-game on the stage select screen. Also, this is a point I cannot stress enough, make sure to hold down your input until Go flashes on screen, as that is when the final check takes place. If not, your ability will be random and a little dice icon will be next to your meter to show that. All of these are tied to meters and are activated by hard pressing L and R at the same time. Some meters function similarly with different amounts of meter gain for each of them, and some meters differ wildly from each other. Every ability's meter will be fully explained in their individual sections starting now. Brief intermission. If you want to play Fountain of Dreams online, there is one thing you need to do. Go to Slippy, Options, Config, Interface, and make sure Panic Handlers are off. If not, it could crash and that's just no fun and I do not want anyone in my DMs telling me about this later. So yeah, do that, dumbass. Anyways, now the explanation of meters, for real this time. Join and pull are the basic bread of butter of this mod, the simplest abilities. Once the meter is full, join teleports you to the opponent, and pull teleports them to you. Seems simple? Yeah, well, it is. These are the more normal yet effective ones here. A few things to keep in mind, though. Pull does not go through collisions, so despite the range being technically infinite, in practicality it does not always work that way. The ledge also reigns supreme for both of these. You cannot you cannot pull someone when they're on ledge. Also, for balance reasons, pull does charge slower than join even if they charge the same way. Like almost every other meter though, they completely reload when you respawn. Relax is an ironic name for this ability because the only thing I feel when I see my opponent with it is an incoming stroke. Relax is a meter that you can't build. You get a full allowance of a full bar each stock and it only takes down with each use. This is the only meter that doesn't use the whole thing at once. For each frame you hold down LNR, you lose meter. For each frame you lose me meter though, the opponent loses all momentum. Some moves are able to break this, like Dolphin Slash for example, but I can't give you any consistency reasons for that. And sometimes, you just get gimped by this shit. The only thing that keeps for replacing this with a better meter I had in the backup is that I can extend combos in Fun Wave and Barry plays Relax. Fuck you, Barry. Ghost is awesome and I love it. When you enter Ghost Mode, for a glorious 150 frames, you are free from the trite and pointless concepts such as gravity, collisions, and lag, and durability. While in Ghost Mode, you can pass through the stage how you please and you're given full control of your character's movement. Gravity no longer matters and you can hit some whack-ass combos during your character's end lag, flying away faster than my supply of comedy. What the fuck was this script? There are a few important things to note about Ghost, however. When your time ends, your soul returns to the place where you sent it out, unless you press the LNR button during Ghost to freefall out of it. In addition, every take hit you take while in Ghost is an extra 15%. And lastly, Ghost is one of the hardest meters to build, and it doesn't return on the end of a stock. No matter what your meter was like when you died, you start each stock with 50% bar. Rise is the ability with the best meter build, and in spite of having less power per activation than the others, it has plenty of versatility. Rise can be used to trip up your opponents who think they have you cornered. Timed well, it can help vertical kill moves kill even sooner, it can be used to catch a whiff from a distance start a combo, and it can be used in doubles to help a teammate recover. Just because it isn't as fancy as some of the others, do not underestimate someone who knows what they're doing with Rise. Next up is Tension. The input for this one is holding up on go. This provides you roaming cancels, but not exactly in the way that RCs are going to release when they do end up being out. This will give you 1 to 1 strive roaming cancels. When you press L and R at, with at least a gear in your meter, you do a roaming cancel and this changes depending on your game state. In neutral, or doing general movement, you get a blue roaming cancel, BRC. It slows down time for your opponent for a brief period and can be drifted left and right as an almost pseudo air dash. If you RC before an attack comes out or on a whiff, you get a PRC, purple roaming cancel. This slows down time and drifts as well, but less than BRC. This lets you bait out mistakes from your opponent, recover, or be safe on misplaced pressure. 
Red Roman Cancel, or RRC, is when you do it in hit lag on hitting your opponent. This pops them up for a combo and cancels all of your end lag. Go wild. Lastly, there's YRC, Yellow Roman Cancel. This is what happens when you RC and shield. This knocks down your opponent so you can try to get back control over the situation. Good luck. Next up is Switch, holding Z on go. Remember join and pull? Well, here's a bizarre yet powerful hybrid of the two. Upon using it, you'll switch positions with your opponent, and in a team, battle of every fighter's location will be mixed up. Like pull, Switch does not travel through collisions, so you can't get true to generate with edge guards, but you can still use it to continue strings or combos or as an amazing way to catch your opponent off guard. Just like the fact that no one expects the fact that I'm inside their walls at this moment, no one ever sees the swap coming. Finally, the world. This has the longest meter to fill up and doesn't refill on death at all. However, when it's full, you get access to being able to borrow the world's power for a generous 100 frames of stop time. Also, some additional notes and things to mention. Included linked below is a doc on the details of how each meter works, exactly how it's built and all the numbers involved if you're a nerd and you want to get competitive about something that was intended as a drinking game. I'll also be making all the code for this project completely public. But to do that, I really, really need to thank my boy Janther. Custom UI was one of the biggest roadblocks for me when I was working on Roman Cancels, and I probably would have gotten stuck there if it didn't let me use his code for how Beyond Melee's characters implement their meters. This mod was built off of that code, and I just need to give him a shout out and a thank you for letting me release this. Everything will be on the GitHub repo linked below. Another thing, these stages are on paper technically compatible with any build. If you want to add them to your build, just make sure to include the meters.daf file when moving it. In addition, any build is welcome to add on Melee to their public release as long as I'm asked about it and credited. Please ask about it and credit it. I do not want people just yoinking this. That'd just be rude. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you and your friends give Unmelee a shot and experience this madness for yourself. The link is below, so be sure to give it a whirl. If y'all enjoy this mod and it gets enough downloads, I'd be so down to make a season 2. Let me know your thoughts or on any whack ass ideas you have for potential new abilities in the comments below. In addition, if you liked the video, please be sure to like and subscribe so I know that people appreciate this and would want another season. If there are any questions or you just want to find matches, be sure to join the Discord. If you want to see my progress or work on other mods, be sure to check my Twitter account at BlueTornadoSSB. In addition, if you're interested in getting early access on some of my future projects, my Patreon is linked down below if you want to help support me. It's not mandatory and all of my projects will eventually be free to release, but I would appreciate the support though. Links for everything are below. Shadow list is a little shorter this time, but I do really need to do it. Thanks once again to Janther, Uncle Punch, Rapido, Vetri, Aurora, Pigs, Tizo, and not Barry because he plays Relax. Thank you once again for sticking around to the end, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and have fun with Unmelee. Stay determined. Later, people. Bye.